April rain brings April flowers and it also brings leaks to the roof. Let's see what we get into today. <sighs> All right, guys, it's Wednesday. It's the second time this thing got replaced. I think. We got Joe. Our first job today will be change out the soap dispenser because that one's whacked out. It's not working good. So we got a new one. And also, remember I told you guys about the out of order toilet. We're gonna do that today. And we're gonna figure out how to fix it. All right, we got the piece and it's called the flashometer. You see, John, why you don't wear gloves? Look at your hands. Believable. The reason I don't wear gloves. All right, so let's see that piece right there that I don't he just like put them. in? That's called the flashometer. The other one was all beat up, so let's see. Let's see if she's a winner. Wiener, wiener. You're a wiener. Chicken wiener. <laughs> oh, you don't need no pliers. Look at him. Look at him. Man. You don't want to mess with Joe. Good old vice grip to end. <laughs> oh, oh. Not running no more, so that's good news. We're gonna do a PM in this room. Uh, a PM stands for pre preventative maintenance, which means uh, we had a, a guest, a long-term guest stay here. This one stayed about a year in this room. So it doesn't look that bad, the room right now, but we're gonna go around and see if the the walls need any touch-ups or if there's any damage to any of the appliances etc so what i like to do is i like to treat my pms like a crime scene crime scene is three-dimensional so you got your ceilings you got the floor to the left and to the right okay and always start to your right so as soon as you come in this is the hallway as soon as you come in you look to the walls as you can see, this wall right here already, right off the bat, we're gonna we're gonna caulk this right here and paint. We got our caulk. Now we're just gonna get this corner all the way down, so we can give a nice paint job. All right, I gotta go. Where are you going now, Joe? I'm gonna go to lunch early because I gotta go Home Depot and. Are you gonna buy me beautiful tools? Or is the hotel gonna buy me beautiful too? The hotel will. Cheapo, cheapo. <laughs> yeah, damn right, I go to the home cheapo. <laughs> the home cheapo. All right, Joe, I'll see you later. Yeah. All right, guys. So Joe is going to Home Depot. He's going to lunch early. And I just want to show you that it dried up. I gave it a nice little paint job. And you can't see that line no more. It's beautiful, doesn't it? Right there. No more lines. All right. So what I wanted to do is, in a future video, I wanted to show you guys how I caulk bathtubs. Because I know that a lot of guys have their own methods of doing it. Um, I have my own method. I'm not saying that every nobody, somebody's right or somebody's wrong. Everybody does it the way they, they like to do it. Now, me personally, I do it in a certain way so it could be clean fast and easy so i'm going to i'm going to show you that in another video but as for right now the pm is looking good so what i like to do is i like to have everything on especially when i'm finished painting have everything on all the lights tv everything all the lights anything that has to be turned on in the in the room i turn it on the tv also with the tv you got to make sure that the guide is working properly that the remote has batteries you know you know fresh batteries and also that the logo is there if not the logo is not there then you're gonna have to call the, the cable company because they want that logo there all right guys joe right now is in the bathroom doing that wall what i'm gonna do here 
is we're gonna clean the P-Tech. We're gonna clean it out and the cover itself. So let me go put on some gloves and we'll handle this, baby. Let's do this. If you're wondering what's going on, Joe's wife also works here at the hotel. So he's trying to reach her because we're doing this PM and he wants to get to the bottom if they shampooed this rug or not because it still smells in here. But he, she's not picking up the phone. <laughs> Missable cancel right now. I need to ask her a few questions. What happened, Joe? Well, you know, I called a woman and doesn't answer and you feeling some type of way about this I, I, i'm feeling you know like I'm being ignored that's not a good feeling no it's not mm -hmm. but you don't be sad put I'm that gonna, frown upside down i'm gonna call her again <laughs> call her again see what happens if she don't answer this time i'm gonna text her oh wow forwarded to the automated attendance thanks a lot oh my god what does she think? She's like an executive or something? She's got her own attendant there? You're on the waiting list, man. Oh, man. That's that second breakfast you ate this for. <laughs> anyway, let's get let's go over here. All right, here's the cover. See, it has all that dirt in it. Let's get to it. Filters are clean. and clean so the next project we're gonna go with the furniture as you can see they had something it was like a it was stick it was like sticky I tried to clean it as best as I could but fortunately it needs a nice paint job it needs a nice little paint job and we'll touch everything up you see all these little things we'll use this paint right here it matches the color of the furniture, all right? All right, here's the after. Just missing a little piece right there. That one had a big scuff, so we're waiting for that to dry real nice. The other little scuffs are almost gone. They almost dried out. Just need that one right there. And then the big old one still drying, but it looks 10 times better. All right, before we go to lunch, well, before I go to lunch, uh, there was three calls that came in. Simple calls, so we're gonna do them real quick. Ba 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 ba. First one is a reflector broke, aka visor, whatever you wanna call it, from the P Tech. I got new ones here, so we're gonna grab one of those. Second call, I believe, is a lamp. I think she said it's part of it is broken, whatever that means. We'll go check that out. And the third one, I forgot what's the third one. I'm gonna look at my work orders now. So let's see what we got. Here we go. Uh, they call for this room that this part right here of the lamp, this needs a PM, it needs to be painted. But anyway, this part of the, the lamp is missing from here that they found it on the floor, housekeeping. So usually what happens is, there's a screw right here. I don't know if you can see it. It goes up and it goes down. So try to put it down. That's, like maybe past this level here. Look, see how it, like right there is perfect. You don't want it more inside. Then you grab the piece, and I'm gonna need both hands for this, so I'll just put you right there. I think you can see right there, huh? Yeah, you can see. And you grab it, and then the bottom part screws in. But sometimes it's tricky because it needs to be dead, on and I got it I think I think I got it all right nice and tight sometimes the kids like to play with this and they just unscrew it and they just throw it around all right let's go put that reflector all right here it is the reflector just like they say you see what I'm saying these break like nothing we change this out like like changing underwear 
we change this out a lot. So what we're gonna do is, I have a better idea. I have the new one right there. So I'm gonna take these screws out and I'm gonna put these self-drilling latch screws. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Makes the job easier. The self-tapping screws, and trust me, you in and out the job. And this is the size the, that we always get, three-fourths. All right, so here we go. We got the new one. And we're gonna put self-tap screws on this one. Let's go where they look. I don't know if you can see it or not, but this is the head. And that's the tip. See? That's why they call it self tapping. It's a special tip there. Alright. Let's see if it fits. I don't see why not, but here we go. <laughs> like a glove. All right, guys, we got called. The ice machine is leaking. You see from right there. You see the problem already. Yes. So I went to go take out that, go take that remote. I had to reset the system, it wasn't working. So anyway, I'm back. And again, you see, this is the cause of the leak, of the famous leak. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna suck that water off and behind it is a drain. And nine times out of 10, that drain gets clogged up here in this beautiful ice machine. So. drain that I was telling you about. You see how it gets clogged? It gets all nasty in there. This is the cause of the problem probably. Who the hell knows what that is? So we're gonna put the shop back in there and suck it up. All right, let's see what beautiful surprise we caught. Here's the drain. We're just gonna unscrew this baby, nice and slow. There we go. Oh, I think I saw it. I think it came out, whatever it was. Oh, it's right there. Hold on one second, I can't focus it. Right there. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video today. I hope you guys liked it. Now tune in, tune in for tomorrow's video because it's going to be a good one. We got two major projects to do tomorrow. So I can't wait for you guys to see that. And also, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. And tell a friend to tell a friend. All right? Zoom out. Peace.